So hello guys, today we'll start exercise number 10, which is an exercise on shell, um, shell structures, okay? And we are going to start with this silo. Let me tell you, shell design is the one that usually I use the most. It has the majority, uh, majority of things that I need when I'm working. So with that said, let's get started. Let's select the shell design. Uh, let me remind you that the, the exercise on shell structure is mainly about geometry. We are not going to define loads nor analyze uh, structure deformation or things like that. It's just geometry definition, okay? So, let's go to view menu projection XY. And let's define a grid step definition of one meter. Apply and close. I'm going to select the polyline contour. I'm going to close this. I don't need this. And I'm going to the geometry and define the following following points. I'm going to make a square two by two. Minus one, minus one, zero. I need to press the add button, otherwise it will not work. Minus one, one, zero. One, one, zero. Now, one minus one, zero. And minus one, minus one, minus one, minus one, zero to close the square, okay? As soon as you enter that point to close the square, the square is generated, as you may see over here. Now, let's go to the projection 3D. I could go to view, menu, projection 3D. It will give me an isometric view. As I select this, it's the same. It's actually an axonometric view, but pressing that or this will give you the same. This is the isometric. Let's pick this point over here. Okay, let's go to, we we'll select the edit menu, so structure modification and object modification. I'm going to modify an object that I have defined. The object is this one, of course. I'm going to extrude that, okay. I'm going to set the object modification parameters over here. And I want that extrusion to be parallel to axis Z. The length will be five and the division number will be five, okay. You first create the very first object which is this square and then you modify it in this dialog box okay and i want top and base to be inactive options i'm going to press the apply button very good we've got the first object notice the division points over here notice the um, one division point two, three, four, five. Okay, I will press the scaling. I'm working on this object that I have defined previously, which is the object number one. I've extruded it. And if I select object number one, everything is object number one. And now I'm going to scale it. We solve operations on object modification. Okay, I'm going to scale it and set the object modification parameters. And I'm going to define the scaling parameters now. I'm going to set the scale in X and Y being equal to 3. And in Z, it will be equal to 1. The scale center will be 0, 0, 0. I'm going to press apply and notice what happened. Once again, I will press the extrude button. It's another modification in this object. I'm going to select the object modification parameters. It will be parallel to axis Z. It will have a length of 10 and the number of divisions will be 10. Okay, I'm going to press the apply button. 
notice how this works you start with this object then you modify it up for an extrusion then you are here then you scale this and after you scale this you modify that once again by this extrusion okay now now i'm closing this i'm going to close that select the zoom all i'm going to select the thickness over here this thickness icon I'm going to apply this thickness to this object. Very good. I'm going to define the support structure, which will be a bar structure. I'm going to define the bars over here, which let the reinforced concrete beam, which is already defined 50 by 70. And the node coordinates will be minus three, minus three, five, three, minus three, five. Apply. Let me switch on the thickness so that you may see where the beams are being made. It's not the best way to define these beams, but I will do just like they asked here. Okay. Three three five three three minus five. Three three five minus three three five. Minus minus three three five minus three minus three five. Very good, and there you have your beams. Now let's define the steel columns okay i want this to be a column the column sec cross section will be a h e b 400 add close now let's define the coordinates let's start by minus three minus three five the second one will be minus three minus three minus five very good uh, now will be three minus three five three minus three minus five enter okay now three three five three three minus five I think you got the idea and now minus three three five and over here will be minus three three minus five okay now let's define the steel spandrel beams i'm going to select a beam over here in the column the cross section will be the same and hba 400 and let's start by minus three minus three minus one Close this minus three minus three minus one, and here will be three minus three minus one. Enter. Okay. Now three three minus one minus three three minus one, and minus three minus three minus one. Very good. Now let's define the braces. To find the bracing I will set that as simple bar you don't need to do that this is just a geometry exercise okay let's make exactly what they did I want them C A E 100 by 12 it's not over here one of these 100 by 12 okay add now let's define the begin will be minus 3 minus 3 Five and three minus three minus one add first bracing the second bracing will be three minus three five and minus three minus three minus one very good okay continue you will have three minus three Five and three three minus one. Now 
three, three, five, and three minus three minus one. Uh, okay, now let's copy them and we'll select bracing one and two. We this braces over here. I'm going to edit menu translate or alt E E M okay and the translation vector will be zero six zero. I can omit the last zero, it's redundant. I'm going to copy it and I want it to drag. Okay. Let's copy it to this position and now I need to copy also this over here and the translation vector will be minus six of course execute okay now i'm going to define the supports and i want to fix support in the lower nodes of this structure fix supports and fix supports and i'm going to select the lower nodes apply now let's make a finite element match if you if you have any doubts on the thickness you may select go to display panels and show the panel thickness it seems right to me okay i'm going to turn this off I'm just going to the analysis menu and the generation of competition model there you go there you have your silo now i'm running now we have finished this is the 10 point one has I guess four parts exercise number 10 this is the first one thank you very much and please subscribe